All right, so here we are with a more detailed and longer look at the Beetle and Grimm's Rising of the Last War, the Eberron Gold Edition box set. So again, Beetle and Grimm's, right? So it comes, it takes the main book and divides up into five soft cover books. Uh, they're pretty nice. Everything from, as you see, like character creation, the Corvair Gaz Gazetteer, Sharn, City of Towers specifically, um, Building Eberron Adventures, and then Treasures and F and Friends and Foes, which is pretty pretty cool. And I actually really like that they broke them up like this because it, it makes sense, right? Like the DM might want to keep this behind the screen and this behind the screen and this behind the screen and this behind the screen. But he may want to hand this out to his character, to his player, so they can make characters, right? I mean, that's that makes sense. So I like the way that's done. Uh, there's a nice map here. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. Um... On Sharn City of Towers, which is pretty great. I don't think I've ever actually seen a map of Sharn. I did play in a very long-running game for Eberron uh, in 3rd edition. And I don't think I ever saw an actual map of Sharn, though, which is pretty awesome. This is pretty cool looking. Uh, it blows what I had in my mind away as far as the map goes. So there's that for City of, Char City of Towers. Fold this back up, and there's a nice one. I have a map of Corvair up on my wall, actually. But there's another map here. And this one looks pretty great. So here's the map of Corvair uh, as it is here. They do some cool things, like I believe. You know, there's little halflings and dinosaurs roam this grassland. They talk about some of the stuff like, like that. Almost as if it's a person who has some map things going on but it also i believe that's probably like lightning rail stuff there i think i'm just guessing i haven't actually read it yet so maybe that the you know those brown air brown lines or lightning rails maybe um overall the map looks great uh it looks really really incredible I'm trying to get a nice view of it for you guys here uh and that's in there too and you can see how big it is like it's what's it's nine panels so it's a nice size map uh, maybe they'll get put up on my wall here soon take down my old one maybe put the new one up then we get lucky with some nice battle maps now these are double-sided maps they're made of some nice paper and look at this look at this thing this is a monster and uh, i can't even get the whole thing in my picture here uh and you look at it it's got like there's the side of lightning rail here's the helm car and then it's got you know First class, standard, it's got like a cargo area, steerage, uh, galley, where you can go for some food, dinner, sleeper. So it's got all this, and they're good battle maps to use in the game if you're going to actually play Eberron. Uh, and that's pretty great. I really like the light those. Again, that's another thing I don't think I've ever seen before. I don't think I've ever seen like a, a detailed battle map of a lightning rail before. And then they have an air... Sh oh. Wait, that, that has a back to it, too. Hang on. Sorry, I forgot to show you the back. Forgive me, I'm sorry. On the back of it, there's kind of just a generic, like, sky bridge map. So if you look at it, it's just like some sky bridges. If you were going to be in Sharn, for instance, maybe, and doing some battles on some sky bridges, uh, there's a nice little sky bridge battle map. So that's kind of cool, too. I like things that have nice battle maps in them because although I use a lot of 3D terrain, having a battle map is kind of good, especially for people who don't have a lot of 3D terrain. So having something like, like that is really, really great. And for those of us that do have 3D terrain, we can build on top of it. So, And so here's a nice battle map of, a, of an airship, right, which looks pretty cool. I love the, you know, like the lightning effects on the, on like the quote, quote, wings, I guess they would be, kind of. Um... And so here's a nice airship map. It kind of gives you like a side view. It shows you over here, uh, you know, where the elemental ring is kind of going around the ship. Um, so, you know, if you're going to be doing stuff on a, an airship in game, which, you know, in Aberon, airships are big. It's kind of kind of part of it, uh, you know, being kind of a uh, steampunky kind of game. Uh, you know, you might need a, need, need a battle map for that. And this one is also double-sided, double so you can flip this this one over. And here's a terminus, right? So here's a terminus, so here's a station, basically a lightning rail station. 
So, you know, yes, there could be some encounters happening inside the Terminus, which is kind of cool as well. Um, or maybe is this for for the airships? Oh, this might, this might be for airships instead. Not a, Scott, not a um, platform for them, but maybe for the airships instead. But still, kind of cool station where you might want to have some, some encounters. Again, things that I have not really seen before. Um, and here is another Terminus map. And this is like the upper levels of the Terminus, it says up here. Upper levels, yeah, the Sky Coach platform. So this, yeah, this is definitely for the airships. Some Sky Bridges, lower level apartments, and that sort of sort of thing. And then on the other side of this, There is a cool Kabara map. So, you know, kind of a jungly map. Kabara, see up there. Um, but, you know, a nice jungly kind of kind of map. We got a nice little ravine here with a bridge over it. You could use this for pretty much any jungle kind of map that you might want to do some encounters and fighting on. That looks pretty, pretty cool as well. Again, one of those things you could dress up with some 3D terrain very easily by throwing some uh, trees on it or something. And then the last thing we have for maps anyway, um, we have get these open with one hand. It's very difficult. Um, we have this is a double map. So this one has a sky coach on one side and a alley and alley on the other side. So kind of cool, little little alley area where you could do some, you know, back back art back back alley dealings or something, and have a uh, some fights happening. And then the last thing, the last map that there is, is this Fallen Warforged Colossus, and this thing is a pretty cool looking map as well. Uh, I don't really know what it is yet, but it said like there's an upper head area. There is the lower head section, there's the upper abdominal section, there's the lower abdominal section, and there's an arm section. So I'm assuming, and a hand, I'm assuming something, maybe one of the adventures or something uses this. Whatever it is, it looks pretty, pretty cool and could come in handy. Then we have these little, uh, going away from maps now, uh, kind of like these little newspapers which could be cool handouts to give to players of like the Corinberg Chronicle um, the voice of Breland is this one here uh, the Sharn Inquisitive and so there's some little newspapers there which are good for flavor I think if you've never actually played Eberron or in Eberron it's it's got there's a lot of flavor in there so it's kind of cool um, here we have some magic item cards. So now these suckers are pretty cool. Um, you know, Wheel of Wind and Water, Wand Sheet, there was stuff in here that I never, the ventilating lungs were kind of cool. They like actually like replace your your lungs, which is kind of neat. Um, a spell shard, shift, I mean there's living armor, there's all sorts of key charms, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Um, and it gives you a nice description of, of, of the item if you look here. So we'll just take the first one here. It's like the Wheel of Wind and Water. It's uncommon. So you see what it does right there. Right? So nice little set of cards. I'm not sure how many cards there are. On the back it just says Beetle and Grimm's. Uh, I'm not sure how many cards are in the deck. But there's a decent amount of cards. Um, we'll put those off to the side. We have these cool little, again, I think player kind of given uh, or just kind of fun parts like some dragon shards here. You can put them on a little string that comes with it. Uh, and those are there for, for some flavor. We have a feather token, right? For like, a, like, a, like a feather fall token for, you know, pretty much everybody in Sharn has a feather fall token. They're one shot items that stop you from dying when you're falling off of high towers and airships, etc. Those are handy to have. 
The next item we have here is these are all the monster cards, which are pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. This is a pretty thick, thick stack. But they have, you know, a monster on one side so you can show it to the players. And on the back side, they have the stats. So there's your Warforged Titan, right? And they stand up. They're little tent kind of kind of things. If we, you know, you can put them like this. You can stand them up on the table. And then your players can see the side with the picture. And you can see the side with all the, with all the stats. And so they have a bunch of creatures in here. Um, a bunch of things here. So there's the Warforged Titan. There's this shadow i mean there's all sorts of stuff here there's there's many 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 of these there's some great art work on them like that guy's pretty awesome looking uh, i'm sure that's some sort of necromancer or something a bone knight that's pretty cool right there's a whole slew of really good looking artwork and what kind of dog is that a valinar hound right yeah so all sorts of cool pieces there then we got the cool DM screen, right? There you go. We got Deities of Ever on there. Some, you know, symbols. You got the the the, the marks there. Little airship looking thing. Yeah, communication and security services, healing services, travel services, some organizations, some key organizations, um, some standard languages, exotic languages, some mounts, and that sort of thing. A little bit of a map down here, of Breland area. Pretty cool. You got your tattoos of all of your uh, dragon marks. We have some cosmology map here of like the material plane and where everything else is. These are all some more, I think, player aids for possibly for some of the little adventures that they have in here. Again, I haven't gone that deep into it yet, so I don't know. Uh, and here are some pre-made characters. And then if you look, there are, in fact, there is a Rising of the Last War Adventure Forgotten Relics. And then there's a bunch of little, what they call, bonus encounters. So here's some little encounters that I think are probably have to do with those battle maps a, a, a little bit. And there's one, two, three, there's like five or six of them, uh, which are pretty, pretty cool as well. So there's a lot in there. Like I said, this box was full and more than full and very very heavy when i first picked it up i was like holy cow it's so big um so check it out this is the beetle and grimm's eberron rising from the last war